Good afternoon, quilters. It's Jane, and I'm here this afternoon actually in my sewing room. I don't know about you all, but I definitely feel like I don't get to spend enough time here. So I'm enjoying being up here today, and we're gonna try to do the next, uh, the second of the three videos to go along with the Cozy Christmas Block of the Week that we're doing. So if you're watching this video, Hopefully that means that you have completed your first applique block and you're ready to add your snowball corners to your block. The instructions indicate that you are going to use squares placed in the corners of your block that you're going to stitch diagonally across these and then flip them out and press them as you see here. The problem with that method is sometimes you didn't stitch quite exactly perfectly in the right place. So when you flip these corners out, they're just a little bit short of being on the square. And then you end up having to trim your block down and then you, the rest of your pieces don't fit and it can cause you some problems. So we are going to use a different method where we're actually going to be cutting triangles that are larger than will be needed. We're gonna add those to the corners and stitch, then the block will be trimmed down so that we can be sure everything is the right size. And we're gonna be using the perfect corner ruler in order to do that, and I'm gonna show you how that works. Before we proceed to adding the snowball corners to our applique block, it's very important to make sure that the applique block is pressed flat. The best way to do that is on a wool pressing mat if you have one. If you don't, use the next best thing, which is a hard ironing board or other uh, good solid pressing surfaces. Um, the wool pressing mat helps to hold the heat and really helps to get your block pressed flat. So if you have a wool pressing mat, place your block face down on the wool mat and press directly uh, on the wrong side of your applique block and get it completely flat and ready for the next step. Our first step in creating the snowball corners on our applique block will involve trimming the base block down to the appropriate size, which our instructions indicate that our applique block when finished should be trimmed to eight inches square. So that's what we wanna do. If you have a square ruler that is eight and a half inches or larger, that will come in very handy for this purpose. This is an eight and a half inch square ruler. If you have a ruler larger than that, it can definitely be helpful when I use a ruler that's larger. I like to use some painter tape, painter's tape to mark off the, um, the actual dimension that I'm going to be cutting my block. I find that having that tape on there gives me a better idea of how my applique piece is going to be centered and framed in the block. And it can help me to know where to um, where to actually trim my block so that my applique is visually in the center. So I'm going to trim down to eight inches and you know the old adage of measure twice, cut once. So I kind of like to do that. I kind of like to get where I've got my applique both uh, numerically and definitely visually centered in my block. Sometimes numerically centered doesn't look exactly visually centered. So I wanna make sure that it looks visually centered. So I'm eyeballing my mitten to see that it's in the center. And I'm gonna actually use my friction pin, draw a line along two sides then turn my block, line the eight inch lines up, and draw those other two sides. 
this gives me a chance now that I've measured once to look at my block, see if I like it, see if I feel like it looks appropriately centered. I can actually then measure to make sure I've got eight inches this way and eight inches this way so I know that I'm going to be cutting it correctly. And at that point, if I've decided I'm satisfied, I'll lay my ruler back down, aligning it with my lines that I've drawn, and I will make my cuts. Two sides of the ruler, turn the block, and at this point, I really want to make sure that I'm lining up with the cut edges. I'm not worried so much about my drawn lines as I am about making sure my corner is square and my edges are lining up with the eight inch mark. And I'll make my other two cuts. My block is now trimmed to an eight inch square piece. Our next step involves actually using our perfect corner ruler. The perfect corner ruler comes packaged with a pattern booklet that has not only patterns, but complete instructions on using the ruler for the different types of blocks where you're creating corners on a square or rectangular block but we're going to go through the parts of the instructions that are pertinent to our block today. So if we examine the perfect corner ruler, I have it on a white piece of paper background here so that hopefully you'll be able to see, there are markings down the edge here, one, two, three, four, up to six inches. And then in blueprint next to those marks, are some additional measurements and there's a square with a diagonal line through it. That's the instructions that tell you how big to cut your squares and then those squares will be cut in half to make the triangular pieces that will be added to the corners of your block. So our pattern instructions for our cozy Christmas block indicated that we were going to cut three inch squares. The squares that we were going to be adding were three inches. We were gonna mark a diagonal line to sew on um, to add those corners to the block, but we were starting with a three inch square. So we know if we look then at the perfect corner ruler that our sewing line is gonna be measured from the three inch mark because our three inch square would be sitting on the corner of our block. So if we're using a three inch square, we're going to start out with an oversized three and three fourths inch square when we're using this ruler. We're then going to cut that square on the diagonal to create our triangles. And those cutting instructions were included in your week one block kit instructions. So you will cut from your black fabric, three and three fourths inch squares, which will be cut in half diagonally to yield a total of four triangles, which will go in the corners of your block. So you probably, if you have done all your cutting, you actually already have these pieces cut. What we want to do first is to mark the sewing lines on the corners of our applique block. Turn the block wrong side up, place the square, the ruler, perfect corner ruler, with the three inch line along the edge of the block, the other straight side of the triangle along the um, corner edge of the block so that the hypotenuse of the triangle is sitting this way. So my three inch line is lined up here 
I'm sorry, the edge of my ruler is lined up here. And I'm going to then draw a line along the edge of my ruler. And that is my sewing line. I'm going to turn my block and I'm going to do that in each corner, making sure that my three inch line is along one side, the edge of my ruler along the adjacent side. Draw the next line. Make sure that you can see that line. Make sure that it's visible because you're gonna be sewing along that line. Corner number three. And line up the last one for corner number four. Now, I have all four of my sewing lines drawn on my corners. I'm going to take my black triangles and I'm going to place my triangle under my applique block and I want this to be, it doesn't have to be lined up perfectly, but I want to place my applique block on top so that I have the edge, the diagonal edge of that triangle extending one fourth to three eighths inch past the line that I've marked. And I want approximately equal points extending on each side here. That's how I know I've placed it correctly. Once I've got it placed, I'll take my pins, put in a couple of pins to hold that in place. And I will do that on each corner of my block. I have a block here that I have pinned. This block has all four of my corner pieces in place and pinned. And at this point, I'm ready to go to the sewing machine and stitch along each one of these sewing lines. And I don't need to have my quarter inch piecing foot. I can do this with my regular A foot and center stitch and stitch exactly on the stitching line that I've drawn. So I've been to the sewing machine now and I have stitched along each of the stitching lines that I drew on the wrong side of my applique block. And so each of my corners is stitched in place. I've used gray Aurifil thread so you can see the stitching lines pretty well here on uh, particularly on the black triangles. So once all four are stitched, I'm now going to press these seams so first of all, I will press to set the stitches. So I will press on the black, flip the piece over, press from the back of the block to set all four of my stitching lines. Then I'm going to flip my, my triangle corners out and press them toward the corner of my block. Pressing one at a time. I get those nice and flat. I want you to notice if I turn this block over you can see that each of these corners is the black triangle is slightly larger than it needs to be for the corners here so there's absolutely no way my corners are going to be short and my block is going to be uh, too small once I've squared it up so at this point everything is pressed I can move my pressing mat aside here can get my ruler back. 
I'm gonna lay my ruler on, lining up the edge of my ruler with the white fabric of the block background. And I'm gonna trim this block down to size. Take your time here, don't rush. Make sure everything's lined up. Trim. I'm gonna actually do one side at a time here rather than two so that I can be very careful and make sure I'm keeping everything lined up on all of my edges. And I need a new rotary cutter blade, so I'm having to accommodate that issue. Because just like you all, I'm here on Sunday afternoon and I don't have access to a new blade right at the moment. All right, lining up side number three. final side, lining it up, trimming it, all right, now I have my corners all in place, pressed, my block is trimmed, now for my very last step, I will fold the corner back and I will trim that seam allowance. And it doesn't have to be trimmed to a, an accurate quarter of an inch, just trim it to approximately a quarter of an inch. Go around your block, do that in all four corners to trim off your seam allowance. And your snowball block is ready, it's eight inch square and it's perfect, it's not short on any of the corners. So quilters, I hope that that was of some help to you in understanding how to use the Perfect Corners ruler to get the snowball corners accurately on your applique block. The next step in the process will be to make the half square triangles that will be needed to complete your block and that will be the subject of our next video. So we'll see you soon.